Hey, Barbies and Kens, and welcome to the Horror Daddies podcast. A podcast, a podcast where we talk about horror movies. And the Kens and them. I'm your film daddy, Ken. And I'm your horror daddy, Ken. And what movie did we watch today? Barbie. Hell yeah. No, we're joking. No, we didn't. We watched Saw 2, as promised, of last week's... Uh, like, very uh, short, very, very uh, head-on... Poll. Poll that yeah. we had with Tremors. No, Wait, was it Tremors? No, bitch. Hell House. <laughs> bitch, I don't know what week it is. I'm, look, we we watched Guardians of the Galaxy today. We are devastated. We sad. We got allergies. You got allergies. <laughs> I got allergies. I'm mentally destroyed <laughs> after Guardians of the Galaxy 3. <laughs> Never again do I have to watch it. I'm good. We were crying. Yep. And uh, we ate burgers sad. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> and then we watched Saw. People getting tortured. We saw too. Yep. <laughs> So welcome to our Saw 2 episode. Uh, this is Jackson, our third host that doesn't talk ever. He, you're Ken too. You're Ken enough. He's, you're Ken enough. He's skeleton. <laughs> skeleton. He's skeleton. 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 <laughs> skeleton. That's good. That's good. Thank you. I'm very <sighs> proud of it. So Saw 2, directed by Darren Lynn Bowson. And written by Lee Wanell and Darren Lynn Bowson. Yep. No James Wan in this one. Nope. I wonder if he was doing something else. Uh, 20, I 2005. I don't know. Yeah, I have no clue. I'm like Insidious or anything like that. Too no, early. that was later, right? Too, wait, yeah, that's too early later. Maybe he was busy. I could think of Dead Silence, but that's also later. Oh, okay. Hmm. Could be, yeah. Yeah, this movie has an on Letterbox a three point one, Rotten Tomatoes has a thirty seven and a fifty nine. It's just fucking low. Yeah, in my opinion. I, yeah, I feel like it's too low. And IMDb a six point six. Mm-hmm. So this movie, I mean, I've seen that people really like this movie. Mm-hmm. Like, I really enjoy it personally. Um, what do you think? Um, I like it for a sequel. For a sequel? Mm-hmm. Like, I, what? But about by itself. I know you're going on a marathon. I, y'all. Y'all. You're I'm man. on I'm on part seven. Unfortunately, Amazon decided to have parts one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Part seven. <laughs> not streaming for some reason. The, the seven is always the one. It's like screen four. It's just by itself. Right. That's what it feels like. And I'm like, I get it's not good. But I want to watch it. I'm going in order. That's my that's my mission. Yeah. So I'm not going to skip seven and go to jigsaw i need to watch 3d and then if you google it, it says pluto tv but pluto don't got it and pluto sucks anyways you lions yeah like unless you're gonna sponsor us you lying to me and i don't like to be lied to you know what happens when you lie to i would like to play a game with you oh shit is that a threat i don't know what do you think it is <laughs> it's a promise <laughs> <laughs> so i want to play a game with y'all for the next hour oh, shit. y'all will have to sit here and listen and watch us. Oh no, that's torture. If not, I will show up at your house. Maybe some people want that. Maybe. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> um, no, but it did have a budget of 16 million worldwide. They made 31.5 million. Like I said, I like this. I think I feel like I like this more than the original. Maybe only because it's not just well, even though the original's not like one area. That's true. I mean, t- but this one yeah. kind of, I don't know. When it goes to it's flashbacks. Explores it's more. Places. It's more, it's more fun. Cause there's a lot more people. Yeah. And so there's like more deaths. Yeah. More games. I think the first one is a character study. Cause it's just mm-hmm. them too. So right. it's like how they're reacting to this situation. And this one, it's kind of like that, but you do have a, a like a protagonist in a way, mm-hmm. but then it's like, it's like an onion where it's like layers keeps getting shredded. Yep. And, then you see that this person is not that great of a person. Mm-hmm. Metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then as the franchise go on, you meet more people. Yeah. This onion get is was a lot bigger than you expected it to be. <laughs> this this bitch is that appetizer from Outback that's just a big old onion and you just keep peeling layers and you're just like God but, damn. but then you kinda have to backtrack a little and be like, oh you that was you in part two? Oh okay now I oh, see. This one but then you yeah. realize in the middle the onion was a real a little raw or a little uncooked mold. Yeah molded. What uh huh. 
because it just starts getting bad after that. It, it just keeps telling more, and you're like, wait, wait a minute. Where, <laughs> where was this? Enough onions. <laughs> uh, this franchise is a lot. It's a lot, and you kind of... Like it's not my favorite franchise. Yeah, I and I, and I totally. But I don't get think that. it's the weakest franchise. No, um, it's just this suffers from kind of the the format where it's like Jigsaw was. I feel like the Jigsaw movie was supposed mm. to be the one that changes everything because it's a modern take on it. But it just stayed the same. It's like look at all this, look at all this, mm-hmm. and then at the end, oh my god, this one guy that looked like a bad guy, he's the bad guy. No fucking duh. <laughs> uh, and it's just like. I don't know. It's just like a lot of flashbacks. I feel like I'm watching one big 10 hour movie. Yeah. And it, and I like that it kind of connects in a way. It's strong. Which like, is it's cool. strong that way. But then I don't know. It just it's just flashbacks. A lot of fla- and all of them. And you're like, yeah. I already forgot what happened in the last movie. Yeah. And then the new one coming out. It's a whole flashback because we're going to go to part a whole prequel the- between one and two. Yeah, and then there's a, I think there's like two of them that are like I kind of going at the same time. I think yeah. three and four are kind of happening at the same time. It's just like, like whoa! <laughs> I don't even fucking know what's happening anymore. Yeah. I'm just sitting here. But it's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's when so- the when the music starts at the end, you're like, oh, Hell here we yeah. go. Where's the twist? <laughs> you get really excited for it. It was so funny because like he, we were watching the special features version, and we hear the music, and we're like, oh shit, she's about to go down. It says it's still an hour left. Is it because a whole hour of fucking special features? I was like, damn, this is a long twist. <laughs> a long ass twist. It just keeps going. Yeah. Actually, it wasn't me. It was her. Ugh. It wasn't her. It was this one. Blame, blame, it, on e- blame it on everyone. <laughs> blame it on everyone. Oh, my All God. Right. So, our so cast. Our cast, we got obviously the king himself, Tobin Bell, as John Kramer mm-hmm. slash Jigsaw. Mm-hmm. Uh, Donnie w- Wahlberg. Wait, he's a Wahlberg? He's a Wahlberg. Oh, shit. That's why he kind of looks like Mark he Wahlberg. He does look like him. Mm-hmm. That's why I was like, ooh, daddy. I will say better actor. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Matthews. As Eric Matthews, we got Shawnee Smith as... Did you Mando? say Eric Matthews as Eric Matthews? What? No, no, no. I said playing as Eric Matthews. Oh, okay. Well, it sounds like you said Eric Matthews. <laughs> I, as... I, I stuttered. I repeated myself okay, okay, again. Okay. Yeah, I do that a lot. <laughs> the, the Wahlberg brother. The Wahlberg brother, the good one. Eric Matt, he plays Eric Matthews. Yes. There we go. Shawnee Smith playing as Amanda. Amanda. Oh, she's dead. Mommy. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, he, Eric. He. he Kunz, Knudsen. Wait, who? I don't know. How do you say that last name? Eric Knudsen. Knudsen? Mm hmm. Oof. Just like you, just like <laughs> every you. every word with K and N. Oh, I guess no. that's true. Yeah, new. I got I got allergies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From Scream Four, Robbie. Scream Four mm-hmm. as a kid, as a yeah. child, I was like, whoa, he looks the same. It's so mm-hmm. weird. Um, then we got Frankie G as Xavier Chavez, mm-hmm. which, yup, I'm just right now, Daddy. I love Frankie G. Frankie G. Yeah, he. As much as you hate him in this one, you're like... I know, he's hot. God damn. Then we got Glenn Plummer as Jonas Singer. Mm-hmm. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, right? Em- mm-hmm. V- <laughs> Vo- Voyeur? Vog? Vog? Em- em- Emmanuel. I got allergies. <laughs> Voyeur as Addison Corday. Yup. And Beverly Mitchell as Laura Hunter. Mm-hmm. And no- Noam, Noam Jenkins, Jenkins as Michael Marks. Yeah, there he's you go. Our op- he's our opening. Yeah. Uh, we have Timothy Bird as Obi Tate. Yep. Not yep. related to the asshole Tate. Um, Dina Mayer as Allison Carey. And Lyric Bent as Daniel Rigg. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. And uh, then we got, of course, they got a swap team. So we got some background mm-hmm. actors as well. Um, but in case you were wondering that Wahlberg, he is the brother. Okay. And he's also married to Jenny McCarthy. What the hell? Mm-hmm. Okay, King. Yeah. You know who Jenny McCarthy is? No. Uh, sc- oh. Is it Scream Boy 3? Scream 3? Scream 3. Scream 3? Wait, am I talking about the same? Yeah. Yeah. Scream 3. Who in Scream Three? Uh, she gets the she gets the she gets chased by Roman in the in the in the studio. Oh, oh. she tries to hide in yes, between all the costumes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah candy, candy. candy. Yeah. God damn, mm-hmm. you good with names. I she got watched, She watched why. the franchise. She did. She mm-hmm. did. She's in Scream Three and Scary Movie Three. Yeah, she did both. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yeah, getting into the movie. So, gal, let me tell y'all the tea. Oof. 
sit down and relax. There is a lot of tea in this. All one. you have to do for this next hour is just sit down and listen to me, and you will find you're in a safe place. So, do you have a safe around here? Did we plan this? I don't think there's, there's a, a safe, safe in this house. I just won't tell you where. <laughs> um, we opened the movie with Michael, oh, and shit. not Myers, just Michael. <laughs> and he's gonna play a game. Oh shit! He naked. He he is in his boxers at least. And he got he bulging. I was like, <laughs> okay, Michael. Oh, okay, I see you. But the man got a head, fucked up eye. On, yep. And on his head, he got a Venus flytrap with nails. Yep. It's so, a mask that she gonna mummify your ass. Yep. Yep. And I love that in scary movie before they make fun of this trap. But anyway, that's besides is, is the that point. Is that the one with the like the? Where Cindy takes out her eye and she's like, oh, bar fight 96. Oh, and she yeah, takes she out the key. Eye. Yeah. It's That's like, funny. oh, Cindy's had a fake eye this whole time. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but he he's playing a game. We really don't know this guy. Jake Saw reads him his tape. He has a pass. Um, and he can't take the key out of his eye. So he just, the Venus flight trip closes on his head. Yeah, he kind of just gives up. Mm-hmm. I think obviously this is like a scream. It's like setting up like the the pace of the movie yeah i mean after this they all open up with someone in a trap yeah and then we find out that this person if they survive or not they're part of something exactly if you know they survive it and it's like one of those movies where it's like if you watch this scene this is setting you up to hey this is what's gonna happen so if you don't want to watch it you can just leave now that's true but yeah. the, you know this the second one's not as bad. No, I always said saw one. You don't see shit. You see like slightly a little bit of the mm-hmm. of the saw, and then in saw two you get a little bit more blood because the budget's higher, so mm-hmm. they have to they have to like show you off a little bit. And then three is when they fucking go crazy. Like a lot of yeah. the gore is pretty intense. And then afterwards, it's but just but even mayhem. then when I watched three, I'm trying to remember. Like three has that it's really not, fucked up trap. That one, that one. But then the other two, I'm like, they're not that bad. Yeah. It's a girl getting, you know. Yeah, it's frozen. not like violent. It's, it's. I feel like it starts getting violent, violent, and four and on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like way too much. But even then, it's like, I mean, like, I mean, whoever it is, it kind of deserves it. Ah, yeah, I guess so. Obviously, I mean, at the end of the day, it's fake. <laughs> right. <laughs> And it's not CGI animals that are going to make you fucking make you cry for <laughs> hours. Build a relationship and yeah. fucking make you cry. Yeah, for hours and hours on end without stop. But that's not besides the point. We meet Eric Matthews. Uh, he is picking up his son from uh, a thieving job he was doing because his son is a thief. So he's a he's a little perp. Is it perp? That's what it's called. Perp? Never mind. He's just a, he uh, he does shoplifting. That's all he did. Yeah, his I son mean, shoplifted. You never shoplifted before? You never seen those pornos? What? The <laughs> the ones where they shoplifted and they take them to the back. Uh, what? To ser- body search and it's like, oh no. Oh, what's this? Boom, Security guard. Cop. Yeah. <laughs> wow. No, I've never seen that one. Oh, those are good. <laughs> um. Anyways, have you ever shoplifted? No. No. Mm-mm. Not even like a candy. Nah, I'm good. I have. Yeah? Yeah, because my uncle told me he wanted to buy me something, but they're really religious. So I wanted Pokemon cards. Mm-hmm. And he's like, nah, it's a del diablo. And I'm like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. So then what I did, I was like, okay, I put them back. I took my shoe off, opened the cards, <laughs> put my, the cards in the shoe. The whole deck, bro. I was like walking all fucked up. I. And I mean, then after that, it was an addiction. I just started using Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Then my brother stole one. I don't know if you want to be admitting all this on. on I gotta camera. do the police is gonna get me from the podcast. Yep, you're done. Oh shit, <laughs> my bad. You know John Kramer might be listening. <laughs> John Kramer's a fan. He's like, fuck, I'm gonna get his ass. Yep. Well, my brother got caught, and then he was like, he snitched on my ass. He's like, John just stole all his cards. And my dad's like, exactly. I was like, that's yeah. accusations, motherfucker. So here's here's how it's gonna go. You're gonna get a tape. It's gonna be John Kramer talking about Jonathan. You've stolen the past, so now I'm gonna steal from you. <laughs> well, he's stealing from me. Locked in a cage somewhere with Spikes is your girlfriend. <laughs> you must save her life oh, in Jesus. order to survive. And then your brothers is gonna be like, This is what you get for being a snitch, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's gonna play a whole ass game with your brother, too. Oh, god. It's damn. just a cycle that just never ends. And then mine's gonna be like, Carlos, this is for you for instigating shit. <laughs> So you get <laughs> hey i appreciated it i appreciate my life you know he only cares if you don't appreciate your life i don't know 
some of these people <laughs> that look like they didn't want to die. The definition either. of that is like really loose. Right. It'd be like one day, like you had a really bad day at work, and you're like, fuck, man, I fucking hate everything. And he'd be like, fucking trapped your head into a fucking noose. Yep. And you're like, what the fuck? I just had one bad <laughs> day, John. <laughs> One bad day. He's like, one bad day is enough <laughs> for my rule. Uh, but yeah, he's just picking up his son from because he was he he stole from a he stole from a mall or something, and then they don't really have a good relationship. We no. don't really exactly know why just yet. Um, but they're arguing right off the yeah, bat. Yeah, and he pretty much tells his son to fuck off. Yeah, and then he's this the um what's his name again? Matthews is stressed. He's mm-hmm. like has is getting a divorce. He's like stressed at work. So he has a lot going on. He doesn't have a good relationship with his kid. So it's like he almost kind of lets it out on him mm-hmm. because he's not a good kid from quote unquote. Yeah. So this man is a whole ass mess. He sure is. But we do get a cool ass transition yeah. from Michael being at his house to a crime scene, which yeah. I was like, oh, my God, you live in the same building. <laughs> <laughs> this man just leaves his room straight into his office. He, he has the power to just appear at a crime scene. Like, oh man, that'd be nice. Right, you can just sleep in. Oh, my bitch, <laughs> I would love that. You don't have to wake up two hours oh early. Oh my god, I would love that so much. <laughs> um, yeah, but then we meet Carrie, his his ex partner. Um, mm-hmm. there's a jigsaw piece missing off this body. Yep. So the, and then he sees a tattoo. That's how he figures out it was this guy, Michael. This yeah. guy was a criminal. Yeah, that he's arrested before that. I think he's been looking for. Mm-hmm. And then uh, he they they call him in so he can identify if it's him. And he's like, "Yeah, I can just see his face and if it's him." And they're like, "Well, that's the point. Mm-hmm. You can't." <laughs> mm-hmm. So he identifies by the tattoos. Right. Um. They notice that it's another. I think they've seen more victims because he said. I think they say that this is another missing jigsaw piece. Yeah, which they explain later in five. Yeah. 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 So they start coining him the name mm-hmm. the Jigsaw Killer. Mm-hmm. So um, who left Michael a note on the ceiling? He did. Yeah, and I was like, who wrote the note? <laughs> it was God it was Jigsaw. It. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> who wrote the note? Jigsaw. All of a sudden, everybody a bunch of pussies. <laughs> But yeah, Jigsaw left him a note on the ceiling. Yeah, calling so him out. it says, uh, "Look closer." Something about the yeah. Detective. It said, "Look closer, Matthews," or something mm-hmm. like that. Um, so I guess he goes to bed, and he starts imagining shit. Yeah, well, he gets into an argument with Carrie. We oh, still yeah, don't know why true. they don't like each other. Just yeah. yeah, but they were partners. Yeah, he ends up going to bed because Carrie's like, "You need to listen to him. He's trying to call your ass out," and he's like. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I got a divorce and a son that steals. I got too much on my damn hands. Yeah, that's true. So then he goes to bed and I guess he just figures it out where John is hiding. So they go there. Yeah. And he traps. He has traps set up like John is waiting, but he's not just waiting. He's going to fuck some people up before they get to him. No, he's going to do a presentation like he's like, bitch, you're my turf. Right. Y'all confident with guns. Uh, Nah, John Kramer said, fuck you. Fuck you and you. Yeah, he said. I just want to talk to Matthew. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'm watching a lot of wrestling. But um, (laughs) he he fucks up some SWAT team with the stairs. There's a trick. The dog comes out, Billy. And then the, he like falls down the stairs and the stairs like close in and it breaks his fucking kneecaps and he falls back. He goes, mm-hmm. ah, my leg. And yep. Yep. And then the other two get electrocuted. Yep. Like, uh, and and then, die instantly. I, were they dead or not? There was out? only one person screaming. That's true. Or unless they were knocked out, but I'm assuming they did. I, I mean, that was strong electricity. But then the rest of them <laughs> get up the stairs. John is waiting there, all sick and waiting. And then they get to but him. Allergies. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's worse than allergies. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got the big C. Yeah, and it's not cock. Um, <laughs> so. So he John has a game for Eric. Yeah. He says you have to look at that or the that room over there. Yeah. And when they check the room, there's monitors. His and then he sees his son. Yeah, it's a full uh, it's, it's a bunch of monitors with camera feeds and they're seeing all a bunch of people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And his son is just sitting in the corner fucking crying pretty much. He's in the fetal position. Yeah. So then Eric loses his shit mm-hmm. and he's like, why the fuck you got my son? And it's him with seven other people. Now, all these people have something in common. We just don't know that yet. Yep. Um, and then he tells them, hey, like, just sit here. Talk to me. And you, your son will be in a safe place. Is in a safe place. Is in a safe place. Just sit down. Chill out, bro. Mm-hmm. 
And then we come back. Just listen to John Kramer, y'all. Yeah, he don't want to. I mean, I, hey, I get it. His kid. Right. If it would have been my dog, John, I would have fucked you up, too. <laughs> Without even thinking about it. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. You see, Charlie, you just... <laughs> I would <laughs> panic. I, and then I would start panicking. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> start throwing shit around. Yep. Eric, Eric waited too damn long to start showing dread around. I would have been throwing shit around the minute I saw him on the screen. <laughs> so funny. But... We uh, cut his to son the, to, to the, the house, people. yeah, and it's his son with seven others, a lot of seven others. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot. Don't well, worry, they start going down. That's true. We're wondering why they're all there. Um, then Amanda wakes up. Amanda's from the first movie, mm-hmm. and then she finds the tape. Yeah, she's and I'm like, like who she, recorded the tape? Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> but she she wakes up because obviously for if this is your first time watching it, she just wakes up and she immediately is like mm-hmm. fuck fuck fuck, and she's looking, she's looking, mm-hmm. finds the tape. And even everyone's like, how the fuck does she know how to do this? You know what I figured out, though? What? She wasn't sick the whole time. Oh, she's the only one, that, the doesn't only one that doesn't cough. She's the only one that's like fine. And, and, and Daniel. And Daniel. Yeah, I was about they to say that. They make him look sick. Yeah, but, but he's, he, not, he's not. He doesn't cough. Everyone coughs throughout the, the, the movie and they see blood like everyone mm-hmm. except those two. Because they're breathing in poison. I have a question for you, but for later. Um, oh, yeah. I have questions. Not for like you a too. not fuck Mary Kill, so I don't be excited. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so you already know who I'm fucking. <laughs> um. So yeah, and then so they basically have. Okay, so the doors to the house will open in three hours. Yeah. The only thing is that in two hours y'all will die. Yeah. So they have to follow the rules, play a series of games. Uh, some of, one of the rules is you have to find you have to think of the numbers in the back of your head. Yeah. And over the rainbow, which we come to find out that the numbers, if they fucking listen, are in the back of the damn head and they're in color coordinated. I'm assuming by the rainbow order, which is red, orange, green, and yellow and pride. Um, wow. I know. I, I said, Wait, that whoa, so whoa, whoa, whoa. This has gay messaging. I felt a little gay watching this. I'm not going to lie. Lo- I love it. This is representation. This, bro. That's too much. From Saw. This From is too much. Uh, yep. John Kramer. <laughs> Pride, brother. <laughs> I just see someone, someone watching like hate you know homophobic. Hey, oh, what, rainbow, yeah, hey, yo, chill out. This is too much. I thought the murdering was fine, but so, gay. So is this a June watch movie? I think so. I, there's called there's rainbows, horror, gay, and daddies, and 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 Xavier Chavez, uh, Xavier, Frankie G, Fra- Frankie G, mm-hmm. Xavier Chavez, right? I don't know his last name. I think so. I think it was Chavez. Let me double check. Ex- yeah, Frankie. Yeah, Chavez. Xavier Chavez. Yeah, his real name is Frankie. So Chavez. you see, there's a daddy mm-hmm. horror movie, mm-hmm. and the word Rain- rainbow in rainbow. the movie. Gay. Just like, just like uh, Spider Man has a Thanksgiving scene. It's a Thanksgiving Dude, movie. This is a Pride movie. Yeah. Problem <laughs> solved. Let's go. Let's go. So, it, so wait. So is Jigsaw an ally? He never killed a gay person. And he made it the theme. Like, wait, 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 wait. Oh, he. I think he does. Well, I don't want to assume, oh. but he might have. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. But I don't want to assume. They That's were acting true. a little sus. In the first one? No, it was like. In the first one, it you was know one how people the, always make fun of It was one of the it. sequels. One of the people was, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to survive. You're and stereotyping he, his ass. He, I was. That's bad of me. That's bad of me. <laughs> But I was like, I'm getting a little bottom energy from you, sir. But it's like the first one. People say that it's like a gay story. Because oh. at the end of it, they're like fucking caressing each other. <laughs> they're like both dying. <laughs> I get it. But Kramer made it its theme. You know what? He made the numbers. He was like, he grabbed the black Sharpie. He start, he's like, mm, uh, this is red. What? Oh, this is cute. <laughs> he started doing that. He had them all in order. <laughs> he's like, wait, what's the order again? Oh, red, orange, yellow, green. Blue, purple. Okay, like, nice, nice. nice. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, Gus is one of the first ones to die. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is so funny. This is funny. I remember this was in the trailers. Oh, this oh, specific yes. shot of the gun. The gun, yes. And I was like, oh, this movie's scary. That used to, I used to remember that. I used to be scared of peepholes. Yeah, me too, it because freaked, of this movie. Yes. Yeah. I always was so afraid of it. Um, But I love this sequence because of like, they listen to the tape. They see the key and they're like, it says, don't, don't use the key on any of the doors. And he goes, ah, fuck this thing. And the other guy goes, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> like, immediately and don't listen. Li- and he literally said, the numbers are in the back of your head. 
in the order of the rainbow to open the safe. <laughs> like, There's a safe in the middle of the fucking room. <laughs> you know, ah, fuck it. And then the key wasn't for the well, it was for the door, but not really. It was for the hatch. It's for the hatch under the fucking yep. safe. Yo, if they just would fucking listen. Okay. It's easy for us to say. No. But if you woke up no. in the middle of nowhere, no. you'd be following orders? No, because we went to an escape room and we worked very well together because yeah, we, okay. were, we were listening. Carlos, we weren't fearing for our lives. It was Scooby-Doo. I Doo. was. It was Scooby-Doo. I was. <laughs> you didn't know they were going to fucking leave us in there. <laughs> I had to get the fuck out. Yo, that'd be fucking crazy. You never like, know the, if the that timer, timer runs out. You never know if that timer would have been like burned a room after that. Like, you just don't know. You got to treat those escape rooms like your life is at risk. I and just, I was. I just imagine because that was for my birthday. The timer goes off and we're like, damn, we lost. And we're waiting for the door and the door doesn't open. We're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And you, then we see the timer. Two more hours. And it's like, you never know. I want to play a game. And it's you like, never oh, know. fuck. You never come know. On. <laughs> you got to take those things serious. Because that could have been us. That really could have been us. Again, if they would just listen. <sighs> That's I guess that's true. I just want to give it, you know, they're humans. They're not listening. They just got kidnapped. They're, just, they're dumb. <laughs> they were dumb. Yeah. I mean, they didn't. That's why you smart. don't care for them when they die. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it, Xavier was like a meathead. Like yeah. he was filled with testosterone. <laughs> he sure was. Uh, those arms. Whew. Um, but then John, you know, John wants to talk to just Eric again. We're cutting back and forth. Yeah. He's like, just, yeah, the movie goes back and forth. Yeah. Just so. sit here long enough. Talk to me and you will see your son. And motherfuckers like, just listen. But and the it's thing like, is you kind of understand because it's like his kid is there. So mm-hmm. he's freaking the fuck out. Yeah. But the trick is that there's a timer next to the monitors and it's supposed to be the timer of them dying before the, when the poisonous, yes. you know, poison kills them. And um, he tells them, P- take away the cops. So yeah, he just he, wants one on one with him. Yeah, so they all stay in that room with the monitors, and he, while he's talking to him, puts a radio on. So mm-hmm. then, uh, his his ex partner listens yeah. to the conversation. And I would have been, I would have been sat there kicking with Mr. Kramer all night. So I was like, girl, "What's up, Mr. Kramer? Tell me, tell me your life, girl." So do you want to hear about the the fucking uh uh that girl from YouTube? Tell me, girl. So this bitch, she groomed a bunch of people, what bunch of children, <gasps> and then oh. when she went to the controversy. She intended to apologize and she pulled out a fucking ukulele. A ukulele? A ukulele, bitch. Girl. And then she started singing the toxic gossip train. Girl, what? Yes, bitch. It was just like that. You see, that's why Thanos was right about this damn earth. Chaotic, Snap chaotic them. good, right? Snap the fuck out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Not the one we saw today. Fuck him. <laughs> But Thanos, Thanos had a reason. <laughs> Thanos at least had a good reason. Nah, not the fucker we watched today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I tell you. But they didn't kick you key. It they, seemed like John Kramer didn't have a conversation ready. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. <laughs> he was kind of like, sit there, sit here and talk to me. And then you stared at each other. Like, John Kramer was pretty much like, do you appreciate life? And then Eric was like, where the fuck is my son? <laughs> Like, okay. But do you appreciate life? Where the fuck is okay, but do you appreciate life? I'm just trying to I'm just trying to see where you stand in this conversation. I'm dying here. You're not. Just fucking sit here and talk to me. This is where he drops that he has cancer. Oh Mm -hmm. well, because we get his backstory here. A little bit. And we get that he got diagnosed Mm -hmm. and then he wanted to, you know, not exist anymore. That's later. That that part is later. That conversation. Yeah. 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 But this is like that's pretty much all he wants to talk about. He just wants to like vent. He, yeah. <laughs> he just wanted to talk to a friend. And all Eric had to do was listen for an hour and a half. Yeah. It's not like he's paying, charging him he's for therapy. He's going through a divorce. And he has a son that hates him. That's currently dying. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> he needs to just remind himself that he's the, the better actor brother. Not Maybe not the hottest one, but the better actor <laughs> one. You say he kind of daddy. He is kind of daddy, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at those arms, too. <laughs> um, not, that makes sense now. I was like, oh, he's a Wahlberg. Yeah, I can <laughs> totally see it yeah, now. It's I can like, totally oh, see it. Makes sense. I wonder if he's... Is that the one that owns the burger place? The Wahlberg? I don't know how many brothers are there. I think it's three. I mean, train tra- run a train on me, then, if that's the case. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> now, Mark Wahlberg is like... That motherfucker wakes up at four in the morning. I, I, saw I pray. Him. I see his I schedule. pray really hard. Oh, well. <laughs> then I go work out. Then I pray some more. <laughs> 
<laughs> His schedule's so crazy. <laughs> I see the schedule. I was like, nah, motherfucker. I need 12 hours of sleep. I love what Kevin Hart says about it. He's like, yeah, he has the craziest schedule, but that motherfucker would be going to, he'd be getting tired by two o'clock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, it's true. Mm-hmm. You're up by two in the morning. <laughs> and in bed by like nine. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> it's an old man's schedule. Yeah. Bro. Not even. <laughs> 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 like five hours of sleep. Hey, back to this movie. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Anyways, so we come back to the kids or the everyone, and they find a door. They 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 manage to, the door opens by itself, so they yeah. manage to get out. They get to that like a downstairs area, and there's a door that says exit. Yeah. Xavier finds a bat with nails on it, uh, and then he tries to break that door down, but then there's metal on the other side, so they can't get out yep. either way. So it's like all barricaded completely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They thought they were going to get out of this house easily. <laughs> like, oh, this is easy. It says exit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Jonas, he's another character. He's trying to like, hey, let me, let's just think. Let's talk. The tape said we all had something in common. What is it that we got in common? Yeah. He's kind of like the, the ones that keeps everyone grounded. Trying to. At or least. trying. Yeah. Um, so then. We figure out that him, uh, Xavier, and Addison, they all, like, were in jail. Yeah. But it's like, was everyone else in jail? Mm -hmm. No one really speaks up either. No, and then Laura's kind of freaking out. Yeah. And she's she's having, like, a panic attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's already getting sick. Because I think she's the first one that coughs blood, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. I thought it was Addison. It could be. Or, yeah, it could be. Yeah. Um, but then they find a door to the basement, mm-hmm. and then they find a uh, an envelope that says Obi. Yeah, but not like, Kenobi. No, and was like, who the fuck's that? And then yeah, and Obi then he, comes out, and he takes off his hood. He's like, um, it's it's Obi. Obi. Yeah. I was like, okay, Obi. Here you go. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. So pretty much is talking about how. Oh fuck! I I can't. I forgot so to write it down. Obi's thing is like, oh, you, he, John Kramer snitches right the fuck <laughs> off the bat. You helped me kidnap these people. Yep. And so, oh, and you play with fire. So now you really gonna play with fire. Yep. And then what happens that he kidnapped uh, Laura? Laura. All of them. It was all of them. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just Laura was the one that remembers. Oh, oh, you're right. Yeah. Sorry, mm-hmm. I had allergies at the time. No, it's okay. <laughs> so Laura remembers. Everyone's yelling at him, but there's two needles in an oven. One for him, and one for anyone of his choice. Yeah, it's an antidote to the gas that's being poured into the yes. into the room. And this motherfucker. Kind of dumb. Okay. Okay. I don't. Okay. He like, I don't in, blame him. But I would have been like, can one of y'all hold the door just, just in, in case? Because there was a fucking gun in the door. Right. I'm assuming this is a death trap. Right. <laughs> and then, yeah. So, you know, he goes in and one needle comes off easily, but the other one pulls the door closed. So when but he I pulls f- down immediately, it, it like locks the fucking yeah, so furnace. If, if someone would have just held the door, maybe that wouldn't have happened. Mm hmm. But no, no one communicates. No one tells each other anything. They all just want to fight and scream and argue over who gets the antidote. Yeah. And I get it. They're all desperate. I fucking understand. Yeah. It's a shitty situation. But as soon as that door closes, that motherfucker said, I said fire to the rain. I said fire (laughs) to the rain. To (laughs) OE. Watched him burn as I die here slowly. Damn, okay, Adele. Thank you. Adela. You know She's that so AI? Beautiful. She is beautiful. <laughs> uh, but he starts slowly dying. Yeah. And But this motherfucker bust through that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. But he did. He did. He did. Uh, then we talk back. We cut back to John and uh, Eric. And he, he tries to say, like, hey, Eric, just remember the rules. You just got to sit here and listen. I'm just not reminding you. But anyways, do you appreciate life? Right. <laughs> right so then john john tells the story how he got diagnosed he was ready to end life and he does try to like end it in a car accident but then he realizes it's, how much the body can take and he lives yeah he lived it was like this crazy accident that he could he caused to yeah to die and he was fine it looked like he just his car went off a cliff and he still made it yeah and then he was stabbed he pulled it out but mm-hmm. he still made it so he started learning that life is worth living and that, that and that the body can handle a lot and that pe- more people should learn this and should be tested yeah so this is where they yep. that's true that's, that's true. true so that's when he like realizes that he should start um i think that was a sample this. from the movie he said it i don't know he might have <laughs> but it, it would oh shit it would have sounded more like you know i'm a bad bitch you can't kill me <laughs> you know what it sounded just like that um 
so we get a backstory of amanda how she was a junkie she did try to kill herself as well, or you know commit murder or commit or, suicide uh, yeah the herself, life of herself the life of herself as well um we do she, find out that laura also went to prison yeah she went to prison because mm-hmm. she was framed like mm-hmm. she doesn't believe she went to prison for the yeah for the right reason like she's like i didn't do it well i think we already find out at this point that uh eric did you know he's a corrupt cop of course and he put all of these people in jail wrongfully and that's why his son is in there with these people that's what they all have in common is that mm-hmm. they were all arrested by the same by eric matthews false accusation. not exactly. false not false baby well, Accusations. they they mm-hmm. were accused <laughs> oh they were yeah they not, were falsely accused eric not not baby <laughs> Um, but we do cut to the needle room, and yep. this is Xavier's ah. Xavier's game. <sighs> this one, this one, oof. this one's fucking tough to watch. I remember watching this for the first time, being like, "Holy fuck!" Mm-hmm. And like, the thing is that as soon as the door opens, the timer starts. Yeah, they got four minutes. Four minutes to save the world and ah. get out this house. Four minutes. Yeah, four, four minutes. minutes yeah. yeah. So what did he do? Throws Amanda in the Eagle Pit. <laughs> bum, 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 bitch. <laughs> yep. And do you think that was pl- like? Do you think like Amanda was ready for that? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> she show. She's like John. I didn't sign up for all this. <laughs> you you sent me here to get these people to like trick them and, and say shit to them, not to be thrown into the Needle Pit. <laughs> Amanda sitting back like shit. I want to see that, this ass motherfucking work for this shit. Nope, it, it backfired on her ass. <laughs> That's why you mind your business and you stay outside of the room. Just like yesterday, I should have minded my business and stayed inside and not get thrown in the pool. They, oh, this is Xavier. Sorry, my boy. This is for you. Anyways, oh, over there. The thing That's is, a that, door back there. The thing is, no matter who was in that room, someone was gonna get thrown in, and he was gonna do it. To yeah, anyone. that's true. I'm kind of glad it was Amanda. Yeah. Because I feel like anybody else, they would have fucking died. Yeah. But like, Amanda does give him the key. And the thing is that he has time to open it, but he's so rushing to open it that he drops the key and then the door closes on him. Yeah. So and then he blames stupid. Amanda for it. Yeah. I mean, he's fucking filled with whey protein. On I'm his like, head. boy, shut the fuck up. Yeah. He's, he's so, like, it's like you hate him. Mm-hmm. You're like, you motherfucker. Like, he's so every- fine. <laughs> I know. I get, I know. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard uh, but the way that she gets in there and i'm like feeling it like your muscles because i've been poked by needles yeah, before the same. and your fucking muscles just spasm it's, it, it hurts oh my god and, the, and they're glass too yes which is even so worse because they're up. breaking and they're used needles too yep. Ugh, which hate, you I, know you definitely got something after that i hated this scene so oh I hated yeah this so much. it's fucking crazy uh we do cut back to john and eric again this is when uh john starts to st- or eric starts destroying john's work because Carrie's like oh well if you destroy his thing he might actually talk and John's not faced by it. he's like okay mm. destroy everything bitch what the fuck you gonna do with that <laughs> I thought you'd just sit down what you're gonna destroy all the evidence you got on me I don't give a fuck I'm what still you, gonna arrest what are you, you. Gonna be a, a defenseless old man with cancer and Eric's like bitch fuck you <laughs> yep. starts beating his ass pretty much pretty much Um, so then this is when Xavier figures out that the number is behind the head. Yep. He figures it out. And I'm like, about damn time. So he checks Gus's. Jonas comes in. And Jonas is trying to talk some sense into him. He don't really listen. So they get into a fight and he kills Jonas here with the bat. Yeah. And you're like, fuck. Like, Jonas was the only, like, good one besides, yeah. like, the kid. Yeah. And you're like, fuck. He's fucking dead. Doesn't deserve it at all. Nope. Nope. It's so funny that, yeah, he didn't deserve it. I no, not, he was yeah. like literally the only one besides uh, Daniel that was yeah. actually good. That's true. Um, and then Eric has has had enough. Yep. Oh, no. They, no, find, a, the, they, the they photo. find a photo. They, this, uh, this is this is what's like, oh, shit. Yeah, because we know. Yeah, because it says X marks the spot was mm-hmm. in one of the, the, the tapes. And Laura goes, X marks the spot, the painting. And it has a cracked X on Mm -hmm. it. And they flip it and reverse that shit. Yep. And there's a fucking, says it says dad and son. Father and son. Father and son. And then they flip it and reverse it again. And it's fucking Daniel. And Eric. Holy fuck. In a a Photoshop picture of New York City. They're like, is this you? Uh, I think so. But that looks kind of edited. I'm not sure. I I never went to New York City. (laughs) Um... So everyone's like, oh, this is the man who wrongfully arrested me. And this is when we're all like, oh, he arrested everybody. Yep. 
which makes me wonder if they would have found this way earlier in the movie that, if they would have murdered the fuck out of this kid you know daniel would have been tossed into a needle pit yep <laughs> yep but so into the oven my theory is that i think i don't know if you think this too is that i think amanda's job was to protect daniel yeah because the whole movie she was doing the same thing she was mm-hmm. she had to make sure this kid was gonna make it to that's the safe. what yeah yep i think that was the whole point of her because if not this kid was not gonna make it out no hell no especially they would have found that damn picture <laughs> Everyone just gangs up on his ass. My question is, what the fuck was going to happen if they figured this out in five minutes? If they're, if they're like, look in the back of your head. Oh, numbers? What's everyone's number? What's the safe? Got it. What were they going to do if everyone actually made it out? Kramer went like this. All right. All right, cool. <laughs> right. Like, all right. I can't I can't deny. Y'all won. Were they still going to kidnap Daniel and throw his ass in the safe? <laughs> Kramer comes out with a gun. Oh, motherfuckers. I built this shit. Y'all gonna play it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> just shoots one in the I'm leg. T- I'm telling you, John is like, nah, they all dumb. I know they're gonna make it out yeah, of this. Yeah, he's too smart. Yeah. He picks the dumb ones. So, yeah. So they, they pick it. They're all like already targeting Daniel. When Laura dies here, she has but a Laura seizure dies. and dies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Poor girl. <laughs> she just has an anxiety attack, seizure, dies. Yep. Yep. And then fucking. Addison then fucks up. Oh no, Eric fucks up John. It this beats is where the he's fuck like, out of him. Fuck cancer and old people. Bitch. He yep. just yo, tosses him yep. around. And then John's like, you know what? I'll take you to your son since you don't want to listen. Yeah, he tells him, game over, bitch. Yep. I told you to sit down. Yep. So I'll take you to your son. He takes him in a very Scooby Doo uh car scene. <laughs> it's so crazy because it's totally like just them sitting in a garage, passing lights around, and then they're like speed like a f- footage of like a car driving uh, uh, in a curve yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's really fast and, yeah, it's really and then funny. outside looks blue because it's, i think it's just day, daytime and they just put the blue filter on I top can, i can kind of see it yeah i think that's what they did i know for sure that the parts where they're like zooming into like mm-hmm. the people driving that's just them in a garage because i saw the behind the scenes uh, and they're like that we just were running with lights around <laughs> i mean do what you gotta do yeah mm-hmm. they had a budget it probably just wasn't that big well hmm Yep. Oh, nice catch. He does that's, say I'll take it to the house. That's true. You see, you got to listen to John. Thank you. Someone will listen to me now. Not you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll be like, uh, listen. To- oh, wait. No, that's not this step. Shit. Wait, let me go back to my. T- <laughs> what? Like if I was John Kramer, I don't oh. know. What- I'm not organized. So I'll be like. That's what yeah, I, this part. I need Wait. a parody. I need a parody of like <laughs> Chuck Kramer says some, the wrong thing. Well, someone actually figures everything out as he's talking about it. It's like, God damn. You're gonna have to place it. Oh yeah, the numbers in the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your, okay, we're done. Your uh, your son's in a safe place. The oh, safe right one? here. <laughs> Can you guys open this one while we're talking? Thank yeah. you. That would be awesome. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. John Kramer's like, wait, wait. No, hold on. Um, this is when Addison makes a dumb decision because she sees a needle and immediately it's like safety. And she puts her arm like in a in a It's like a it's like a box with like giant bl- like blades. But they they go in but they don't come out. Yeah, and you're just like she goes to grab it with one hand, which I'm like, okay, girl, cool. Cause so, then she can kind of open the flap a little bit. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. But if you look at it closely, there was no other way for the other hand to kind of help you. No. Oh, it it's just like it. Oh, it was yeah. Damn. But anyway, my thing is, girl. Do not put the other arm in, no. and she does, and well, that's when I'm she like, drops I don't give a fuck. You already know that one arm is stuck. Why are you gonna put the other one in? Okay, that's true. Because my, but my thing is like, she Crane, also didn't listen to the tape. That's true. She rips up the. We don't even know who this room was for because she rips up the envelope, throws the tape on the floor. That's actually very true. Because I was gonna say, how the fuck I see? How was she supposed to survive this one? You can't take your hands off. I think someone was supposed to sacrifice their one hand. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Because the thing is that you might have to pull it out, but you're going to lose a hand. Well, or both. Uh, God damn. Because he also put like glue on it. So she pulls it out and everything just falls off. Yeah. And it's like, it, but then it's that's the thing. The antidote's fucked. Yeah. And when the sad thing is that she it? just bleeds out standing there and then she yeah. just dies. And she probably falls. Yeah. Because this is where we see Xavier going into her room. And I thought something you know, rapey was going to happen. Oh, the way he walks in? Yeah, he walks <laughs> really creepily and, like, stares her down and then just looks at the number, like, really... Like, well, he caresses her hair, but it's just to, to see the, the number. number. Mm-hmm. And then he closes the door. 
Yeah, and leaves her to die. Leaves her to die. I'm mm-hmm. like, holy fuck. Do we ever see her come back? Do we see that body ever again? Mm-mm. I don't Not remember. that I remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. I don't think we we never go back to this house. Oh, I guess that's yeah, that's true. Mm-mm. We don't get. Yeah. We get flashbacks of how this house was set up. Yeah, but, but that's it. Yeah, of course, because we need that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So then Amanda finds. What does she find? Oh, they find a way out because they, they, they see the like hatch. the hatch. They find the hatch. The the key to the door that for the gun was actually for the hatch. Mm-hmm. And then I think, oh, that other needle that was next to Jonas, I think that came out of the safe. Oh, maybe. Because there was a needle in the safe. That yeah. was the whole thing. Because I think that's like the prize. It's like, that's the But gift. then Xavier was looking for the numbers. I think Amanda opened the safe and left the needle oh. out. But he didn't realize that and kept chasing them. That's a good point. So huh. he, he just wasn't thinking no i think he just saw that hatch open and he's see, like i'm gonna find them right but he doesn't see the needle that who left it there and yeah. obviously there was one in the safe i'm pretty sure amanda opened the safe put it on the floor without robbie seeing not robbie daniel seeing it <laughs> <laughs> robbie's from screen four, four yeah. uh without daniel seeing it and then xavier's not he just he just wants to kill them so he's just chasing them and doesn't see it yeah he's just seeing red at this point everyone was just fucking tricked because they're stupid yeah Damn, John Kramer knows how to pick them. He sure does. So, um, but they find the bathroom from the first movie, and we're like, "Oh, this is where this leads." Yeah, to. and you see Adam on the floor, Adam. dead. But it's funny because the mannequin kind of looks like a little guy. He just sitting, mm-hmm. just chilling. He just dead. And a foot. Oh yeah, and a foot. And I'm like, "Where's the boot?" <laughs> In the other side of the room. Oh, that's true. <laughs> um, and, and then, then he's like, she's like caressed, like she's like protecting Daniel at this point. Yeah, it's and, like weird. And then Xavier gets there and he's like, I just need the number behind your heads. And then she's like, Well, how are you gonna read the number behind your head? And then he's like, Bro, oh, hold my beer. Yep. And he just cuts it off from his neck. Bro, she he said, Here's the number. She rever Uno reversed it. Mm-hmm. He Uno reversed that shit back. Yep. Yep, because he slices it and then he puts it on his pocket like he's gonna save it for later. Right, we didn't even see the number. No, or no. the color that it was. I don't even I, when you know when the camera you know it spins around him. I didn't see a number in the back. Of Me his neither. Head. So he didn't have one. He just did that for no reason. Maybe, <laughs> but then Daniel's not dead they, because she's like, oh, he died. He's like, I don't care. I just want his number. And then Daniel's like, Shajing, and yep. cuts his neck and yep. kills him. Kills him just dead in yep. the bathroom. Yep, and he's like, I'm dead. <laughs> and then while all of this is happening, while all of this was happening, the SWAT team is in a house. Uh, Daniel's dad is in this, this house. But I noticed that the SWAT team was in a different house because the door they broke through they didn't even say exit on it. Yep. And they find monitors. And then this is when they figure out that the tapes that they've been watching or the li- the movie we've been watching was only a replay of what already happened. Yeah, because they see like a bunch of uh, VHSs or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then he they press the play button. Yeah. And it freezes the yeah. live the live feed that the the partner is seeing the ex partner yep. is seeing. And you know. And the- she goes. Yup. Yup. Just like that. Oh. <laughs> and then she's yep. like, it's, it's not live. Yup. It's not live. It's and not then live. She sees the num- the timer go off to zero. Mm-hmm. The safe opens. Poof. And the sun was in there the whole time. It's like, oh my God, he was in a safe place. And not only that, John Eric Kramer makes it, likes puns. He does, sure does. But then <laughs> Eric makes it to the bathroom. No one is there. It's all dark. Yep. And, they, and Xavier did, uh, Adam Adam, 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 he's just sitting chilling. Dead, and then he sees Gordon, a little hand. Dead. Oh, Gordon, we don't know. That's true. But I, we do see the hand, mm-hmm. and it looks alive. And it's like, "What's the glove?" <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, okay, that's my son." So she, go, he goes to grab him, and it's actually fucking the pig. It's the pig. Fucking stabs his ass with a needle. Mm-hmm. He falls on the floor. He's dizzy. Yeah, he looks goes to sleep for that nap, for a nap. I don't know why he took a nap right then. It seems important to be up. I mean, <laughs> I probably hit him with that melatonin. <laughs> you know that melatonin shot. be hitting quick. <laughs> That's a good point. And this is where. Oh well, we see. Well, we, we, this is where it keeps coming back, coming back and forward. But we get we get Amanda's tape, and it's like, oh, you don't appreciate life. Yep. I didn't appreciate life because you framed me, but I found a father. Yep. And it's she, she was working with John fucking Kramer the whole time. So she goes. She so sad. Woke up, got ro- kidnapped. Ba- uh, Robbie. Bad, God bad damn it, Daniel. Daniel. And she obviously. 
was there the whole time. She knew everything. Yep. Lied this, to everybody. Yep. She played everybody. So if you watch this for the first time, if you look closely, she's the only one that's not getting sick. Nope. She's not coughing. Daniel Her and Daniel too. are not coughing. I wonder if Daniel was given maybe some type of drug to make him look really sick. Maybe. To because, make him feel uh, weak. Yeah. But other than that, he wasn't really dying. No. Maybe he got melatonin. She was, she was fucking... You know that be fucking you up. When you can't sleep right away, you be like a zombie. You feel, yeah, you feel (laughs) shitty. Yeah, so yeah, and then you know she, he was basically tricked for being a corrupt officer. He didn't listen to John like he should have, and he met his demise. Yep, and he, she, she said, "Game over, bitch," and closes the door. And then the movie ends. These movies end so abruptly. I love it. All of them because I, I don't think there should be like more than that. Well, no, we see should. that long shot of Kramer la- smiling, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I love it because it's so dark. All you mm-hmm. see is inside of the car, yeah, and it just fades out and mm-hmm. it's like zooms out. And it's so cool. Like he's the, just smiling. Like one of my favorite endings is in the third one. I won't say why, but it's because it, it just like oh, the, yeah, it I leaves know, you yeah. wanting more. Yeah, and then the fourth one starts right. That there one too. just ends like in mm-hmm. so abruptly. Mm-hmm. Like it's like so much shit happening, and then it just ends. And you're like, whoa! And then they make you wait a year. Yeah. But anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much Saw too. Yeah, baby. Hell yeah, brother. So like what we do in every movie, mm-hmm. we go to Letterbox and review and rate the movie. Yeah, we sure do. We sure did that. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, that's true. So Carlos, what did you rate this movie? I gave this movie a three. Okay. Yeah. I, I kind of told you, I might not give these movies more than a four. I know. Because you, uh, you're like, I want to see the traps. Yeah, I'm more of the I don't I mean the story's interesting in some so some sorts of way, but my thing is I want to see the traps and I love the twist at the end. The twist at the end always leave me like, oh, yeah. even though it might be shitty or not, I'm just like, oh. After a while, you start realizing like, oh, it's just it's just the same shit. But even then, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's kind of because cool. it's kind of cool seeing it mm-hmm. how it, it goes. It, it evolves and yeah. like, yeah, yeah. So my review goes as this. You have one job, just one job. When John Kramer talks to you, all you have to do is listen to the man and follow his rules. Therefore, you might actually not find out when you fuck around. Yeah, it's very true. Amen. That's my that's my three star review. Okay, good job, good job. Thank you. Um, I gave this one a, a four. Mm-hmm. I do like this one almost as much as the first one. Um, so my review says, Jigsaw said, "A cab, brother." But seriously, this film has an incredible incredible cinematography, introducing modern techniques, but keeping the same style as the original. Mm-hmm. And Amanda's mommy, I will die for her. Okay. So, um, yeah, this movie, I think, is, I think it's great. I think mm-hmm. they did such a good job with mm-hmm. keeping that element or like what they wanted to do with the first one and just improving yeah. on it. Um, I'm really shocked that this movie gets a lot of hate. I don't understand the why. One, yeah. And I know the third one people have a gripe for it. I like the third but, one too. Uh, yeah, that's another one. I can understand it because of the main character, but oh, the person yeah. that we follow at least, yeah, not the main one. character. Yeah. But this one, I feel like it does such a good job with everyone, and mm-hmm. it's like if people's arguments like, yeah, but I hate Xavier. It's like, yeah, that's his fuck. That's the fucking point. You're supposed to hate him. You're not mm-hmm. supposed to like him. I know. But He's hot. You're just not supposed to like him. Exactly. Sorry, y'all. And it it's happens. like, but the but the the twist and also uh going back to the original with amanda obviously mm-hmm. like i think that's such a good idea and even the the kid being there the whole time like it's such it a makes, clever it makes you realize like you just gotta listen yeah like it's just that easy but then you kind of you understand like man, he's in a, such a crazy situation mm-hmm. obviously it's hard to do that and think yeah yeah so it, it's really cool i really love this and um yeah i i love I, I love this movie i think this movie's fantastic mm-hmm. i agree uh, daddy of the movie. I mean, come on, John Kramer. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. No, you got Xavier. You got Xavier. I mean, he's hot. I give him that, but he's an asshole. But you got to give the respect to John Kramer. That's true for he, coming up with all of this. He is a truthful man. Mm-hmm. He said it like it is. Just mm-hmm. stay here, and you'll get mm-hmm. your kid. And he was right. And if you died, you died. That's it. That's and he said, I don't kill nobody. He really doesn't. No. They kill themselves. He's like, hey, I just put you in this situation. And you just, you got to figure out your own way it's to like, get out. You have an option to leave. Yeah. That's on you. That's how, that's on you to figure it out. Yep. That's how animals throw the babies into the wild. They And, and they figure, like, figure it out. It out. Mm-hmm. That's true. So, okay. Let's say Jigsaw. Yeah. Daddy of the movie. Billy the puppet. He's a child. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> yeah, the puppet is supposed to be his, chill, his child. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> John Amanda. Kramer. John Kramer. John Kramer. 
But Mark, Mark Wahlberg's brother. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? All of them. Yeah, he finds it. Yeah. <laughs> um, favorite death. Hmm. In this one, a lot of them are not that crazy because. We get deaths, but we don't get, like, trap deaths. I think the gun one is... Because it's, it comes out of nowhere. That one's a pretty cool reveal. Mm-hmm. I love the, like, the, like, the pan the to the side. The transition to yeah. the gun, it's yeah. It's so cool. And you're just like, whoa, there he goes. Yeah. I do like the the cop one. Like, how just oh, immediately break, his knees yep. break. That and, like, too. then the other two get executed. I think mm-hmm. that's such a way of introducing Jigsaw. I mean, mm-hmm. like, yo, what's up? But the coolest trap in this movie is the first. It's the Venus flytrap. Yeah, that Venus flytrap is pretty sick. Mm-hmm. I just think it's such. It's so short. I forgot how short that sequence is. Yeah, he like tries for like a couple seconds, and then he he's like, ah, fuck this. Yeah, because everything else, it's a trap, but it's like it's like an environmental. It's like, it's yeah, like it's, an environmental it's, it's, trap. It's like normal, regular, regular things. It's not something he created. Yeah, that's true. The the flytrap is like yeah, the, his. I own mean, thing. yes, the oven. He rigged it, it, but it's an oven. Yeah. The Venus flytrap, he made it. He came up with that. Yeah, that's it's a, a pretty torture sick device. one. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. And it sets up for the story, too. Because mm-hmm. this is the, that's the first body they find. Yep. So, yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah. And then, the, like, the needle is obviously my favorite one. I'd, like, the favorite trap, I guess. Mm-hmm. Because it's so fucked up. Just that idea of digging through needles is so yeah. scary. Mm-hmm. Um, But nobody dies from that. So. No. I mean, I'm in the lifts. Yeah. It would have been interesting if the needles were injected with something. Yeah. So my thing is, if they're used, that bitch got like HIV. She, she got something. Because that's how hap- how it happens. Like mm-hmm. people get HIV she by got, like she got get, getting stuck by. But the thing needles. is that since that was for Xavier, for like, hey, you were because he's a drug dealer and he sold crack oh, to a lot of people. So it's like karma. It's like, oh, you you fucked a lot of people over selling them this kind of shit. So yeah, that's. Go in there. You don't people. You don't appreciate people's lives, so right? You so, benefit from that. Mm-hmm. So throw yourself in there, so you feel what they feel. Yeah, but uh, now nah, he, he just he just says, "Nah, oh, so Amanda." Cool. Yeah. And Amanda's like, "God damn it!" Yeah. <laughs> I just, I'm in here just protecting a child. <laughs> we should do an edit where like Amanda's like being sus in the corner, and then he grabs her, and when he throws her, she's all blurry, and then freeze frame. Do you, you wonder how I got into this situation? Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. That's it, right? That's, that's pretty much it. it. Yeah. All so, right. um, next week, you want to play that game? I'm down. Okay. So we have a game for I next play week. A game. Yeah. It goes. It goes. You know, with this movie. Um. Where can you can you explain it? Yeah. Or? So for our nerds out there, you probably already nerd. No nerd. <laughs> you already know, but we're gonna play this game. It's I don't know what to call it like aligning the characters so we're, the gonna alignment have, we're chart. gonna have random horror characters and we're gonna align them to a chart that we have whether they're good evil and they're like in lawful ways. good neutral yeah. or chaotic mm-hmm. um and we're gonna find we're gonna pick different horror characters debate on it if we define differences yeah and i think that'll be a fun conversation mm-hmm. um do something different for next week yeah um but if you guys know about it uh you can always look up at a fucking chart on mm-hmm. google just mm-hmm. alignment chart um if you play dnd or anything like that you you know about it if you have any uh character uh what's that word i'm looking for recommendations recommendations to thank you to throw in there let us know yeah mm-hmm. so that'll be a fun episode i think that'll be fun yeah it might get heated the might we might break up next week i don't know i might throw barbie in there <laughs> <laughs> who knows that's true that's true that's a good conversation to have mm-hmm. but yeah so join us for that that'll be a fun episode yeah um and yeah that's pretty much it so Go follow us on social medias. We're going to put a fuck, Mary kill at the end on Instagram. Um, uh, our recommendations. And then you have our merchandise so you can look as slimming as possible like Jackson or back as here. thick and voluscious as Look me. at you matching with Jackson. You know, you know. Uh, thank, you, thank you. So you can find that if you want to support us down below that way. But if not, just leave me a comment or a review on our you know, go, uh, podcast apps or on YouTube. That would be fantastic. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And remember, game over. Ken. I'm Ken. And I'm Barbie. See you in your dreams. Poor Bye. daddy. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.